Hello, this is Dan Alford with Arc Specialties. We're part of 3M's new initiative to automate surface finishing. So when Bob Little at ATI called us with his new compliance sander, uh, we took the opportunity to demonstrate it. You have to understand there's several different ways to handle uh, abrasive finishing of parts, but you always need some kind of compliance in the tool. This compliance could be something complex like a six axis load cell tied back into your servo system, but sometimes you don't need something that complex. And so what Bob has come up with here is a simple system with a pneumatic counterbalance. And this gives you about a half inch of travel with a variable load. It allows you to follow the contour of the part. This greatly simplifies programming, greatly simplifies your uh, fixturing it's a pretty good system so the first demo you saw there we simply rotated the part and applied a load with the robot and then the next step we're going to try to corner grind and we're going to use a couple different techniques here first we're just rotating again very similar to the way you saw before along with the robot moving back and forth and then we try some oscillation but you know there's a third part to this problem and and that's the abrasive itself so we're working with 3m on the abrasives we're running a cubitron coated abrasive on this it's working very well removes a lot of metal quickly this new field of robotic finishing is still in its infancy so we really haven't refined the parameters yet uh, so you'll see today that we're trying several different things in our lab that's why we have a lab we don't know everything but we know a lot more after we go to the lab and test so in this case, uh, Bob's created a two horsepower angle head grinder. It has pneumatic compliance built in, and the beauty of pneumatics is you can change that force on the fly by using a variable regulator. The whole thing's running at about 8600 RPM, and then we're using a quick change hook and loop to uh, fix the abrasive onto the disc. We worked with Tyler Nance up at 3M. He recommended we run a 36 grit, and uh, you can see we've got a pretty nice surface finish here. You might go finer if you need it. Uh, after we've done all of these where we're rotating the part, uh, you know, that works real well, but in the real world, frequently you're not able to rotate the part, particularly in the piping industry. So we started to do some stuff where the pipe remained stationary and the robot would move. So first we did some corner work, uh, again, trying to figure out what the best pattern was. And then we ultimately ended up uh, grinding some outside corners of the wells in real time on stationary pipe. Now, a single robot probably couldn't do this without repositioning the part, but uh, you know, maybe a couple of robots may be repositioning the part of the robot itself. This whole project just goes to show you what can occur when uh, three different experts in three different fields collaborate. We've got Arc Specialties, a machine integrator. We've got ATI. They're excellent on in the arm tooling and quick change tooling and of course 3M uh, those are the guys when it comes to abrasives look forward to seeing some uh, videos in the near future where we're doing some outside corners so this video is uh, set up for the guys that are doing pipe there's a lot of you guys out there but for the rest of the people that are doing fabrication you're probably more interested in outside corners uh, we'll work on that in, in the in the weeks to come and we look forward to seeing you on YouTube with our new videos at Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.